Hey guys, I'm here with a fun one today. This is a fat bike for kids, really. I think that's the direction. Or someone who's just vertically challenged. Someone who's a little bit more, maybe shorter. I'm not a super tall guy, I'm like 5'9", but this is, this is on the small side for me. Um, this is what they refer to as the mini tracker. The official name is the 20 inch trail tracker. Pedigo uh, has been known for doing beach cruisers and fun bikes for a long time, bright colors and everything. They're getting into sort of the mountain bikes and stuff and I really think their technology has come a long way. The battery is integrated right into the down tube right here. It pops out on the other side. Really awesome just hardware we've got a dapu motor back there it's fat bike specific 500 watt nominal it's like 880 peak 35 newton meters of torque and you might be thinking like what like is this safe <laughs> for young people and yeah they've actually toned down the top speed on it so instead of 20 miles per hour it's like 12. okay and instead of having pedal assist and all these fancy features and a, a display panel that might be uh, perhaps distracting and prone to damage. They've gone with the older style, it just kind of an LED console with a twist throttle. So it's like a little scooter for kids, you know? I, I think that that makes a lot of sense. It keeps it real clean and clear. You do have seven gears to work with back here. Kind of a basic drivetrain, Shimano Tourney TX, but still seven, that's that's great. I remember a time when Pedego bikes had like a single speed. It's been a while. I've looked at their bikes for years company's been around for a long time they have a really awesome warranty two years comprehensive and lifetime on the frame and that's awesome great network of dealers that can help you get set up and dial this thing in for you uh, i'm actually at, at their headquarters in southern california they've got a big warehouse they sell these globally now so there's a lot to appreciate and that's great because this is priced higher it's like $24.95. So you're paying for some of the quality and stuff. And of course, this is a purpose-built frame. You can see the cables are all internally routed. It even slopes down nicely, so the standover height's a little bit lower. This, this model in particular only comes in this matte black, but I think it looks nice. And we've got these glossy, bright orange rims. I'm looking at just like on the cusp of release version here. And so unfortunately, I think the crank arms and the... Uh, chain ring are not quite stock. I believe this is going to be like 38 tooth. Um, I love that because of Pedego's size, they are able to kind of have some of the accessories branded. They look really nice. This is a Velo saddle, but it says Pedego. Vettel, Velo locking grips. Again, they say Pedego. And these are some of my favorites. These are like the Welgo aluminum alloy platform pedals also say Pedego, just really, just kind of nice. It's those little extras that you get from like a bigger company. Chow Yang tires, a little bit more basic, 20 inches by four inches. That's the standard fat tire size, got nice knobs. Uh, and they say up to 20 PSI, I'd say the range is five to 20. Of course, the higher you go with pressure, the more efficiently they're going to roll. But if you want to go through sand or snow or something, you, you totally could, you just drop it down quite a bit so that the the tire spreads out that weight a little bit more and gives you better traction and better steering and it it works pretty well i haven't actually tested this specific bike on snow but i have uh, some of their other ones and it's just a ton of fun one thing that uh th that this model does not have is bottle cage bosses i just don't think there was room here on the frame and if you put it up here you could step on it or bend it but they do have uh, rack bosses right here so look at that you could add a little a little rack and possibly even a fender down here and up in the front so I, I like that you've got the reflectors and stuff that you'd come to expect for safety they've even got a derailleur guard on the side and a slap guard so that's great because you know you're going over bumps and the chain can kind of nick up the frame over time this is an aluminum alloy frame so it's not going to rust or anything but that derailleur is a little bit more vulnerable and if the bike tips and you can see that the kickstand is on the left side it's really big heavy duty kickstand, adjustable length, that's what you wanna see. But you can also see a few little nicks down here and that's because the crank arm makes contact, okay? So ideally the kickstand would be back here, but you know, then some of the weights up front and I, I see this, it's, it's not uncommon. I think it's a good kickstand, but it's something to keep an eye on, maybe an area of potential improvement. Really good, Tektro Novella, mechanical disc brakes, 160 millimeters front and rear. 
disc brakes tend to stay a little cleaner, you know, more dry if you're going through snow and, and mud and stuff like that, which you might on a fat tire bike or if you're a kid. So I, I like that. That's gonna give you better stopping power. They're not hydraulic, which would be even better. You know, if you, it's, and those a lot of times they have adjustable reach levers and everything, but these are pretty good levers. These are Tektro. They've got a uh, rubberized edge, a bell, really loud, really awesome bell. I love that. And it's, it's not gonna get broken. It's not like hard to reach or anything. It's, it's, it's wonderful. And then they've got motor inhibitors, which is kind of unnecessary on a bike like this, in my opinion, because there isn't, it doesn't have pedal assist. It's only throttle. So as soon as you let go of the throttle, it slaps back into position and the motor stops. But, you know, let's say that someone's excited and they're riding real fast and they need to hit the brakes, but they squeeze down on those grips. It's good to know that I think, you know, it's gonna stop the motor. In fact, I'm pulling the brake right now and I'm twisting the throttle, see it's not working. And then if I, if I push the bike up a little bit, okay, I'm trying, normally I'd be able to tilt it on the kickstand, but we've got a little bit of weight in the rear. The, the bike totals about 52.5 pounds. That's not bad in the world of electric bikes, especially because I was told this has like a 350 pound max weight capacity. That's high, normally it's 250. But for a kid, 52 and a half pounds could still be kind of a lot. And I think that's just because, you know, this model, you've got the bigger rims, the bigger tires. These aren't punched out rims also, which would reduce some of the weight. Nice 13 gauge spokes, uh, nickel plated uh, nipples on these so that the, the rims hold up a little bit better. It's, it's pretty well, it's sturdy, it's rugged. Bolts or nuts on the front and rear, no quick release or anything. So you shouldn't have to worry about those you know falling off or getting loose or the kid messing around with it and again i realize this might be a good setup for just a petite person but you know the kid thing makes a lot of sense and i, I just see kids having a lot of fun with this we do have quick release here on the seat tube i think it's like 28.6 i've got that that spec back at the website one of the areas that i often upgrade on bikes like this that don't have suspension is adding a seat post suspension so add some cushion but when you do that the, the the spring elements like right here and so it raises your minimum seat height and so if the kid is already having trouble getting up this high and you put a suspension post on it then there it's going to be a little bit more difficult where with this you could drop it all the way down and it'd be really really easy to get over again with that nice sloping frame here's the battery from the other side just looks really nice doesn't it you got a charging port pretty easy to access the key does not have to be left in <laughs> i just did that because i wanted to show how it works and it's just painted nice. It's really, really cool stuff. It, again, it's a very custom frame so that it fits these wider tires. Um, great mounting point for that, for that kickstand, really solid, wider bottom bracket. Just good stuff. The fork is steel. I was using a magnet with it earlier. That tends to be extra sturdy. Might weigh a little bit more, but it might also dampen some of the vibration compared with aluminum. And you can see the other disc brake on that side. Maybe another shot of these. This is the trigger shifter that it comes with. Um, it's kind of the index shifter, so click, 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 and you shift through the gears. If your hand's on it, you know, there's a little bit of reaching going on here. I, you know, sometimes it's nice to have the triggers down here, but I think, again, kids have smaller hands. If you're wearing gloves, this is a nice a nice one because it's so big, it's, it's pretty clear what you need to do, but shifting and riding and braking, you know, this could be a little bit tighter, but I think it's as good or better than some of the other electric bikes out there. At some point you're using mainstream components and there's just some some reaching that needs to happen. Notice how short that stem is. It's like, it's almost non-existent. That brings the handlebars back so the kid can be a little more upright and not have to reach so far. Their arms might not be as long. I do have all the dimensions, like the seat post or the seat tube, the reach, the overall length of this thing back at the side. I think that stuff becomes more important um, for something specialty like this. But again, Pedego has all these dealers and stuff, so it's really wonderful that you can, you know, go and try this out yourself and, and actually test it. You don't have to just, you know, guess, guess and check. So that's really great. Okay, I, I repositioned the bike because I wanted to show the other side in the sunlight, just so you can get an idea of how well integrated a lot of the cables are and stuff. You know, they're not gonna get kicked as easily. You can even see on this side, the power cable goes in, sort of up into the axle instead of out through the side. A lot of the older, more cheaply made electric bikes, it kind of protrudes and that can snag, or if the bike tips, it can get damaged. And 
it's things like that that you don't appreciate until maybe a kid is riding it and it's getting you know it's getting to full use <laughs> that kind of thing so yeah really really nice stuff um the other piece of the pedago offering that's kind of nice is just how clean and i guess complete the package is so this is this is something you get with it a little manual um some stickers and stuff a nice little tool kit a uh, fuse some touch-up paint look at that there's black and then this bright orange for those rims and then the pedals which are already on the demo bike there and then this charger and it's a, a three amp charger so that's that's higher than average which means it's going to charge a little bit faster they say like four to five hours you know you should expect like 20 to 35 miles on this it's throttle only which tends to burn through the battery a little bit quicker but because it's lower speed lower top speed you don't end up with the wind resistance and stuff quite as much so you know it, i i don't know i guess i haven't been able to ride this one fully the smaller wheels give you a mechanical advantage so the motor actually climbs pretty well you know i only weigh like 135 pounds but i was able to get up some hills while we're just riding around looking for fun fun spots to park and you know shoot this thing so maybe I'll, I'll jump into how it works let's pretend that you already charged the battery it's clicked onto the frame like that and in fact maybe i should take this off real quick it's so i twist the key doing this one-handed here and then pull on the battery yep just like that it's coming there we go pops out it's only six and a half pounds i was really surprised it's uh, 36 volts, 11.6 amp hours. That's slightly larger than average, and it's nice that they were able to fit it with the, the limited space here. I'm gonna put it back on. Watch out for those keys. Again, the keys would not have to be there. I might just take those out to, to keep it clean. There we go. The other thing that's uh, worth pointing out while we're down here is this power button. So if that's not on, the bike's not gonna turn on. Okay, so it's a two-step process, and, and that's probably good so that you don't have an accident or something. If you're moving the bike, make sure that it's off because it's easy to try to think you're kind of picking up the bike and you twist that throttle and then it takes off on you. Okay, so we're back down here. Battery's charged. We press that silver button. We come up here and we press the display panel button. It was already on. Just a quick toggle button. You can see empty, half, or full with the LEDs. It's not quite as precise right as if you have even a five tick indicator on the lcd displays but like we talked about earlier that can get damaged and be kind of distracting so this works this is old school technology it's kind of proven maybe a little bit cheaper to, to fix and it just blends in nicely and that's it okay that's literally it like the bike is ready to go you hop on you twist the throttle i think i'm gonna do that just get this thing going oh i do want to call out you could kind of hear the kickstand going up and and bumping on that uh, that disc brake rotor, I don't think it would get bent or anything. It just might want to be a little bit more sensitive with it. And if you have issues with the brakes, take it to your local pedago shop and have them adjusted over time. Um, keep an eye on that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm on the bike. I got my twist throttle. I'm just going to do it. Whoa. pretty much top speed right there it races up to speed pretty quickly you can see when I twist it it goes from being lit up as green down to yellow because it's using up some of the battery and it's kind of maybe that's a voltage sag that we're we're experiencing of course I'm not getting proper leg extension because my legs are super long uh, but that's back to that's the whole point um, oh, and the seat posts on this, I think it was like 300 millimeters versus 350, a little bit shorter. Of course, you can ride it just like a regular bike, shift through. There we go. It's a nice, satisfying click. quiet to be honest i mean the tires produce a bit of you know just a little bit of noise as you're you're rolling over gravel or whatever because of those knobs um, but they work pretty 
Wow. Okay, I was done hot rodding around the parking lot and I came back to my buddy Mike Fritz. How's it going? Very well, thank you. You're director of engineering here at Patagon, correct. right? That's correct. It's an honor. It's a pleasure to get to hang out with you. And <laughs> thank you very much. I, I figure you know your way around these bikes and, and I wanted to put this thing to the test and very chase good. you around on it. Is that, are yeah. you up to the challenge? I am up to the challenge. Okay, so. here we go. All right. Do it. We'll just kind of tool around a bit. I am certification to the effect that, that uh, these bikes can handle a goodly amount of weight. All right, well, you're doing doing so. great. <laughs> Looking good, man. Well, All thank right. you so much, Mike. 20 inch trail tracker. Feeling good, feeling great, actually. You know, and that's the thing. Yeah, you you know you squished a little bit with your knees and stuff, but it, it handled pretty well. Oh yeah, it's it's a very durable, very sturdy frame. Uh, we're not at all worried about that. And um, you know, we it's obviously intended for the smaller riders. Uh, sure. This will be a great bike to introduce a a, a younger guy to electric cycling, and uh, we speed limit it to uh, 12 miles an hour just for safety for, for safety. our younger riders. But it's yep. still very powerful. It's a full 500 watt motor. Um, plenty of torque uh, for riding on the beach, or riding in the hills, riding off-road. We think it's going to be a very successful bike. Awesome. So, well, thank you so much again. It's my pleasure. You know, maybe you've got a kid that's uh, trying to keep up with the family or struggling to get to school and back, but you're trying to empower them, give them some independence. I could see this being a nice fit. It does feel pretty durable. For the full written review on this, some of the specs I mentioned earlier and stuff, I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com. Of course, as always, ride safe out there maybe consider some lights there are some good attachment points here that you know you could add something like that and just you know keep an eye off your kids there aren't reflective tires on this it does have basic reflectors but with that black color i'm glad that the rims are orange because that helps it stand out a little bit more